bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from Psalm 17, and we'll read verse number 3, and it says, Thou hast proved mine heart, thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me, and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Amen. What a statement of determination and faith uh, that is spoken here. I am purposed that my mouth won't transgress. And how do you transgress with your mouth? By speaking things that are contrary to the word of God. How many of you know the word of God is true? Everything else is a lie, amen. God says you're healed, amen. God says you're healthy and that you're strong. God says that you have more than enough. God says that he delights in your prosperity. Amen. God says he's going to bring you to a large or a wealthy place. Amen. God says he will never leave you nor forsake you. That he will be with you always, even until the end of the world. Amen. And uh, it's important that we as God's children say what God says. Because if we are going to have what God says, then we have to speak what he says. Otherwise, we will never obtain those things. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is you want to be, whatever it is that you want to have, is going to come through you speaking in alignment with God's word. And so God wants to encourage you today by his spirit to have the same determination that you say, I, am, I have purposed that I am not going to transgress with my mouth. I am not going to speak something that's contrary to the word of God. My situations, watch this, my situations may well be contrary, but I'm not going to speak my situation. My situation is a certain way, but I'm going to call things that be not as though they were, because that's how my God does things. Amen. Do not transgress with your mouth. Remember, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And it says that you will have the fruit of whatever it is that you speak. So make sure you speak life and not death. Speak faith and not unbelief. Speak blessings and not curses over your life, over the lives of your loved ones, over the lives of your pastor and first lady, your church. Speak life. Speak in alignment with God's word. Purpose in your heart today to not allow your mouth to transgress. And you will have the type of life that God has ordained for you to have before the foundation of the world. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Ooh.